Hello guys and welcome to the Let's Play series of Dead Secret and in the mysterious horror detective game where you have to solve a mysterious murder well a mysterious death actually uh, but we might know that it might be actually a murder well it is actually a murder lol anyways so this is an indie game um, well, hello, crows. Um, I've been asked by the developers of this game to check out this trial version, a PC preview demo of Dead Secret. And the game is already out. Um, I was supposed to do it like before it was like out, but uh, I was like in no con condition in doing it. So, but now I am, and now I'm doing it, and I'm gonna still do it. I will never forget what I promise. Anyways, we're gonna start. Dead secret. Let's do this. Wow. Hello, Cleo. September. Harris Bullard well. was found dead in his study five days ago. Nobody believes me, but I think he was murdered. This house in the middle of nowhere holds the secret. There's a story hiding here, and I'm going to cover it. If I'm right, there are four major suspects. Graham Wellington, Josie Herrera, Cynthia Peckman, Bobby Sawyer. I'm not leaving until I find out what happened. Oh, hello. Well, here I am. I'm in this place. Um, there's a mirror, there's candles, there's a boarded up place, there's an... you can go outside. This is it! The crime scene! Um, I will check out the mirror first. Oh, so it's a point and, cl point and click game. You have to point... Oh my god, I can look at myself! And I have a broken arm. Okay. Um... Reclusive professor found dead in home. A retired college teacher was found dead in his home Monday. The body was discovered by Bobby Sawyer, who worked part-time for Bullard running odd jobs. Okay. Ah. Retired. Retired. Found dead in his study. Police ruled death natural. Bobby Sawyer ran errands for Bullard. Found the body. Josie Herrera. Bullard's live-in live -in assistant. Ex-wife, inheritor of Bullard's estate. Graham Wellington, former colleague of Bullard. They're all suspects! Hello. Alright, in and out. Easy. Just have to find some evidence and get out of here. Sure. A small parcel tied tightly with twine. I can't open it with my bare hands. Of course. Oh, hello. It's a small key. Already found a key! Hello. I like this. Investigate this crime scene, alright. Well, also, this was supposed to be a VR game, but um, I don't really have a VR. So, I'm doing it on a PC. Well, I already said it's a PC preview. So, I'm on, on, I'm on, a, I'm on a mouse. I can... I'll go this way. Goodbye, mirror. What the? You changed your color. Wait, this isn't the crime scene, I need to investigate the study. Sure, this is the crime scene. A small key unlocked the door. Oh, hey, I found a key to the door. Ah. So this is where it happens. Uh, whoa. That thing just opened up. And I already see this. There's a page from a manuscript here. The man who could see with his skin. 
In 1926, I met a man who could see with his skin. His eyes were sealed with wax and bandaged, yet he remained aware of the room around him. He held, we held up signs which he read, and fingers which he counted even when we stood behind him. After the performance, I gave him $200 for the secret. He explained that he could see as long as some part of his skin remained exposed to the air. He described it as a shift in the wind of slight breeze on his face. Uh, blah blah blah. And the rest is a blah blah blah, more blah blahs. There's a newspaper clipping here. It reads Eyeless Joe, found dead in hotel. Weird. Eyeless Joe, who the fuck are you, Eyeless Joe? Something about this painting makes me uncomfortable. It's very bleak. Yes, it is. This music is very loud. No, no, no. Damn it. I don't know how to... Well, I'm gonna have to... Oh, wait. There we go. Alright. What about you? Nope. What about you? Oh, I'm stepping on the thing. Well, doesn't matter. Oh, there are more scripts. Scripts? Scripts. Um, well, I'm gonna check out this. Because it did, it did open up by itself. It's a book! There's a thing in it! What's this? It looks like a tiny camera lens. I got a circular lens. Okay, just gonna close this. Doesn't turn on, guess it's broken. Of course it's broken, everything's broken here. Whoa, what the fuck are you? More books. This room is regular library, some of these volumes don't look ancient. It's all covered in dust, of course. Whoa, that's a picture of a woman, she looks lonely. Of course she does. Oh, hello. It's a record player, there's no record inside. The record is empty. Of course it's empty. This is a regular lamp. Of course it's a regular lamp. I'm gonna go check out that little dead page over here. Hello, page. The Snow Woman. Adapted from an original translation by Lafcardio Hearn. The old woman and his son cl climbed the mountain. The old man, I mean. The old man and his son climbed a mountain to collect firewood. It began to snow heavily and unable to make it back home, they decided to pass the night in a small hut. In the middle of the night, the young man awoke to see that the door had blown open. A tall woman with long hair and a white kimono was l leaning over his father, blowing her breath upon him. When she saw that the son was awake, she said, You are a handsome young man, so I will let you live. But if you ever speak of this to anyone, your life shall be for be forfeit. In the morning, the young man found his father frozen and dead. Okay. He climbed down the mountain alone and never spoke of the episode. A year later, he met, a, uh, he met and married a young, beautiful girl. They had children together and were happy, but the night of his father's death still weighed heavily in his mind. One night, after having a bit too much to drink, the man told his wife about his encounter with a snow woman. She was furious. You promised not to tell, she screamed. And before his eyes, she became the tall woman with the long black hair and a white kimono. If it were not for our children, I would end your life here and now. I will spare you for their sake, but if anything ever happens to them, you shall pay the price. And with that, she melted into the wind and was gone. That was one fucked up book I just read. That girl is in, kimo in a kimono. This is getting weirder and weirder. Who's banging on the glass? Whoa! It's just a fucking crow, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna walk towards this. There's a typewriter, I can save the game. There's a globe. Which you can apparently turn. There's an X marks the spot. What the hell are you? It's a clay statue with a weird face. Why so surprised, little guy? Don't know. One of them appears to be missing. I've never seen a map laid out like this. It's a butterfly. There's a spot marked with an X on it. There's more, more pages. What's with the globe, though? I want to know what's with the globe. Why can I always turn it? Oh, oi! Aha! I solved a puzzle! Saw that? I solved the puzzle. Whoa. It's a small box. Let's get a better look at it on the desk. Whoa. Oh, hey, I 
TP to the desk. Noise. Something's typed out here, but the paper's so far into the feeder that I can't pull it out. Uh, I know something that I can I can't pull out. Um, there's a page. Joe. Something is after me. It's creeping around the house trying to get in. I'm sure of it. I heard footsteps outside and creaking on the roof. It's not safe here. I've taken the idea of focal lenses from their normal location and hidden them in the my study. I've sent you a package that you'll know what to do with. Check the map for the mask. As usual, X marks the spot. Harry's. P.S. The sequence is west, east, north. West, east, north. Buller did something in this room. Very suspicious. This will be a great hook for my opening paragraph. There's a, this thing. Oh, hey! It's another lens. I found up two of them now. Cool. Oh, hold on. Okay, so I found two of them now. Oop, there's nothing in there. Oh, there's another page. Harry's Bullard, I am Woodcutter. Your past has caught up with you. It is over. What's with this? What's this? Who is Woodcutter? Threatening Bullard. Ah, something... Ooh, scissors. A pair of scissors. I can use these to open the package in the other room. Yeah! Awesome! But before that, I want to check out this thing. What are you? One of the buttons is missing. Oh. 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 Okay. I think this is called a banger's lap. Yes, yes it does. Well, I'm gonna go and open that package. But first, gonna check this out. Why are you so creepy? What the hell? I just literally got goosebumps. This door is locked from the other side. From the other side. <laughs> no, there's no keyhole. Um, all right. Why? Okay. It kind of feels like they are looking at me. What did they see in this room? Maybe I bet they saw something very bad in this room. This was very bad. All right, time to go to the door. Through the doors. Oh no! No 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 no! Fuck! Fuck! The thing! The thing near the phone! You. Yes, you. You're the thing near the phone. Hello, thing near the phone. It's a note with a s foreign symbol on it. Underneath it reads North. Oh. It's the same symbol as this. It's that one. I think. Oh. I need to find a button. What are you? I still need to find out what are you, little play buddy. You are very surprised. <laughs> I bet, I bet you saw someone who murdered the the the, the, the guy. Nah, let's go through the door. Candles, this candle's not lit anymore. Whoa! 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 What the f actual fuck was that? What the actual fuck? What the shetnaya was that? What the actual f fucking shetnaya? Oh my god! Fuck! I was I I thought this was like solving a normal. Murder mystery and wh who the fuck is writing me on Facebook? Alright. Need to press right mouse to open an inventory. And use scissors on this. Ah, it's a book. It's an old book. It says Quaidan on the cover, whatever that means. The author is Lafcadio Harn. Hello, old book. Oh, in the other room. I think. I think, hold on, I need to check the inventory. Yep, that's the same symbols that I saw. What? What? Why is the TV working? TV? Is this like the ring? The developers, is this like the ring? Why? That's weird, I could have sworn the TV was off before. Of course it was! Oh fuck, those masks are getting creepier than creepier by the day. Ah, those are the symbols. Uh, 
Oh, yep. It already tells me to use bright mouse. Use the book. Aha, I can push the book all the way back. It feels like it's hitting something. Wait, there's something jammed way back there. It's flat triangle veg. There's some sort of foreign writing on it. <gasps> it's the button! It's the button! Oop, I pressed the wrong guy. Oh, this one. There we go. Yes. There we go. I uh, forgot need to put need to take this. Aha. Okay. The combination. To get in the note it said something west east north something like that. And that sign sign this sign is north. So if I'm right, west east north. Aha! Oh shit, what the It's a monkey mask. I see the lenses fit into the mask's eye sockets. It's like a weird pair of goggles. Ah, I get it. Ooh, mask. Whoa. Whoa! 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 Who was that?